You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your weekly prediction edition for the NBC streaming soap opera. As always, our predictions are based on recent episode activity and official spoilers from NBC. I've got predictions for Clyde and Johnny, for Bobby Stein, for Maggie and Constantine, for Brady and Teresa, and for Kristen and Holly. And hey, if you haven't, please reach down and click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Now let's jump right in. My first prediction, I think Clyde Weston is going to take Johnny Demera hostage with Chanel Dupree as collateral damage. Spoilers for the week, Tuesday, April 9th, Clyde contacts Ava about something that's hidden at the bistro that he wants. And remember, we haven't seen him since he and his, his terrible girlfriend, Officer Goldman, ran away from the airfield because they didn't trust the pilot hide by, hired by the Vitali. So, He's been laying low for a couple of weeks. So Chanel and Johnny head out to the Horton cabin on Smith Island on Tuesday the 9th. And then on Thursday, April 11th, Ava is worried about Clyde's demands and Harris comforts her. And then Friday the 12th, Chanel and Johnny's honeymoon is interrupted. There's a little scene from the promo where somebody comes banging into the cabin. It's not like they knocked or were being polite. That means it's someone awful. And to me, I'm doing the math and I think it is absolutely Clyde Weston. And remember, Stefan Demera asked EJ months ago, many months ago, to use the Demera mercenaries, train killers, whatever, to kill Clyde and shut this down because Clyde was threatening Gabby. And EJ didn't care. He was completely unsympathetic about anything. And now this bad guy, it looks like he's going to get his hands on Johnny. And of course, Clyde would be thrilled to have that kind of leverage over his former drug dealing partner. And of course, you know, EJ blamed Stefan for doing bad things to try and save Gabby from Clyde. But imagine what EJ would do himself to save Johnny from Clyde. So the shoe I feel like is about to be on the other foot and the DA might change his tune when it's his loved one at risk. We'll see. Our second prediction, I think Bobby Stein is going to surface and Stephanie is going to freak out. So on Friday, April 5th, Everett signed those divorce papers with the name Everett Lynch. He refused to sign the name Robert Stein. He doesn't know who that guy is. And he said it would be forgery. So, and of course, he's out of touch with Bobby, who is his core persona. Everett is actually an alter ego, which is so weird. So very days of our lives. Spoilers for Wednesday the 10th. Everett wants help, and he goes back to see Dr. Marlena. And Jada, that same day, asks Stephanie if she still has feelings for him. And then on Thursday, April 11th, Stephanie asks Everett why he didn't sign the divorce papers, and he snaps at her. He like goes shh with this shh thing and he's like waggling his finger. He has this savage, really aggressive look on his face. It doesn't even look like Everett. So far, I think Blake Barris looks like he's doing a pretty good job playing two personalities. Bobby seems like a really bad guy. And I just wonder, since he finally saw him last time, he told Stephanie he saw himself and it kind of scared him. And I wonder if Bobby is getting closer to coming back to the surface and maybe these sessions with Marlena are going to unleash him. And he is a bad guy. And I do suspect at some point, maybe he's going to become Bobby again, but then try to pretend that he's still Everett so that he can get away with stuff. But we'll see how it goes. Our third prediction, Maggie, Horton may be considering getting remarried. So spoilers for next week, Monday, April 8th, Maggie talks to Julie about Constantine and Thursday, April 11th, Constantine gives Maggie bad news. So he's going to tell her that his travel papers, his visitor's visa, whatever has expired. He's going to be deported. He really doesn't want to leave Salem. He wants to be part of the community. He really loves it there. Yada, yada, yada. He's trying to play her like a fiddle. And I mean, you know, Maggie was born on a day, but it wasn't yesterday. But she does seem to have a soft spot for him. And she doesn't always believe it when people warn her that he is a very, very bad guy. He is definitely going to push for a green card marriage, I'm pretty sure. 
And, you know, he might make it out like, oh, you know, doing a favor for a friend, whatever. But he he feels entitled to some of that Kiriakis fortune that Maggie is sitting on. And he may actually snow her into this. Hopefully all the people that care about her can stop it. Except the problem is he's got Sarah Horton snowed. Julie seems to be rethinking things with him. Xander is on fire about it. So Xander may have to save her from her own kind nature. We'll see how it goes. Our fourth prediction, Brady Black unwillingly finds himself drawn back to Teresa Donovan and may tangle with her again, which will in infuriate Kristen. So last week, I think it was Friday, we saw Brady Black looking at that picture of him and Tate and Teresa, and he was really staring. And then he was trying to talk himself, talk to himself like, nope, don't do it. Don't do it. You know, and to me, it feels like we know that, you know, Brady has a, an addictive past. Teresa has an addictive past. And it's almost like Teresa is sort of a drug hit for Brady because she's tempting. She's exciting, but ultimately and addictive, but ultimately very, very bad for him. So spoilers for Monday, April 9th, Brady talks to Alex about Teresa and each of their relationships with her. Because remember, Alex asked Teresa to move back in and was trying to make it sound like, you know, it could be platonic, but we know he wants to get back with her. He just doesn't want to propose. And of course, she wants that ring on her finger. All so troublesome. And this all started really because Teresa was trying to make Brady jealous. So I, I think she likes Alex. I think she likes looking at him. I mean, I think we all like looking at him. And I think she likes that he's rich. But given her druthers, I absolutely think she would jump at the chance to have Brady back and wouldn't give Alex a backward glance. And Kristen may be infuriated if it happens. And speaking of infuriated Kristen, my last prediction is that Kristen is going to find a way to punish Holly. So Wednesday, April 10th, this coming week, Kristen and choose Holly out. Holly is hanging out in the Demera living room, talking to little Rachel Black, and Kristen comes in hot, like, do not talk to my daughter, get away from her. And Holly's glaring, and then Nicole comes in and is like, talk to me, not her. And she and Nicole are about to get slap happy with each other, and they have to be pulled apart. That's in the promo. You can check out our, our coverage on our day's playlist or on our main channel. Look for the promo if you want to see these scenes. So... I just feel like Kristen isn't going to let this go. You know, she feels very motherly towards Tate because she carried him in her belly because, you know, she stole him when he was an embryo, as one does, right? Only in Salem. But she definitely feels a very motherly bond towards him. And let's be real. Holly did Tate really dirty. And I don't think any of her excuses, her excuse was like, oh, mom's fragile. It's like, oh, so your grown adult mother can be protected, but a young man who was already beat up in jail, you know, can't be protected. I, I understand, you know, the truth not coming out while she was in the coma, but the second she woke up, she should have told the truth. And so I almost, I mean, I don't want Kristen to hurt her seriously, but I also think Nicole's punishment was kind of lame. You're grounded and give me your phone. And then she's not even listening to her. So maybe if Kristen gives her a, a little timeout on Demera Island or down in the basement, you know, maybe Holly needs a timeout to think about her actions. We'll see how it goes. All right. Those are all of our predictions for the week. Please subscribe if you haven't. Definitely drop your comments, whether you agree or disagree. I love reading your thoughts and come back every single day. We're here talking days of our lives, seven days a week. And as always, this is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 